Hello everyone, it's the Upfarm team over here, and today we're just going to show you guys how to use Wufu. Specifically, we're just going to go over the basics of how to create a form on Wufu. So, as you can see, we're just currently on the homepage of Wufu. We already logged in, as you can see in the upper right corner. We've already have the account up, and right now we are just looking at the already pre-existing form page. Now, from this point, in order to create a new form, you're going to want to head over to the right side of the page where you're going to see the Create Form button beside an addition sign. And if you were to just simply hit that button, as you can see, you actually do have two options when creating a form. So let's just go from scratch so that we can show you some of the basic elements of a form. And then after that, we're going to show you how much easier it is if you were to use a template. Okay, so let's hit the Start From Scratch button. And we're just waiting for it to load. Okay, and as you can see, we are now on a blank form that's being run by Wufu. As you can see, there are no current fields, meaning that they've not actually added any elements to the form itself. It's currently just empty. So let's just add different types of fields. So on the left side, you can see that Wufu provides a lot of types of fields that you can add to your form. If you were to hit the Add Field button and add a field page, you can see that we can add different standard types and fancy Fancy pants is according to Wufu. So typically, let's say we want to create a generic customer feedback form. Now we're going to want to ask for their name, so we'll just have to drag and drop. And immediately, the name field is already added to the form. Next, we want to add an email in case we want to contact them not long after. And then maybe let's add a type of question. So we've added some of the generic fancy pants parts. Let's now allow space for a different type of question. So let's say we want them to give us a scale of one to 10. We're gonna select the number standard field then drag it under. And as you can see, initially it doesn't actually look like much. So let's edit this further. So if you were to select any of the fields, you would be able to further edit them. So you have to hit name, email, or number in this case. You will then be brought to the second page called field settings where you can further, further change what you want about the specific field. So in this case, we're going to change the number field. We're going to change the label into the question. So let's say, how would you rate your experience? From here, we're also going to require it so that they have to answer this question. And then we're gonna give them a range. So let's say we want to give them a range of zero to 10. So that they would have to score it from zero to 10 only. After this, you can also add in predefined values, placeholder text, or instructions for the user. So please type a score over 10 according to the question. You can also add a predefined value in case you want to have a substitute in case you do miss the question. But in this case, since we're requiring it, we don't need to. And once you're happy with it, let's just take a look at it and see how this would look like from a viewer's perspective. Okay, so let's hit view form at the bottom. Oh, don't forget to save your changes, of course. And then let's view form. View form. And as you can see, now you can rate your experience by typing or entering a value between 0 and 10. You can also add your name. Maybe we can even add a fake email. And then we can even type a score. So let's say we rated 8 out of 10. Let's hit submit. And that's how you fill out the woohoo form. Also, because we set the number range to from 0 to 10, as you can see, if you're to type any number above that or below that, Woohoo immediately doesn't allow it to happen. As you can see, there's a problem with the submission, seeing as it now limits the answer so that you only get valid responses. Okay, so that's one of the basic ways to start adding parts to your form. It's just a matter of dragging elements you want and throwing them into the form itself. And if you want to edit any of these types of questions, you just have to rename the question itself and then maybe work around the different elements within the question, depending on what you need. So if you had a multiple choice question, please choose one. 
Let's see, the choices were blue, red, yellow. As you can see, it immediately changes over here. We can even require and randomize it. From here, you can then add more, more fields. What if we want to add a single line text for them to say something? Let's say, what's favorite food? We can then allow them to throw in any sort of answer. We can also limit the amount of letters they can put inside the answer. They don't give us something too crazy. We can then require it, encrypt it if we need to, no duplicates. Or in this case, we do want duplicates because it's a pretty open-ended question. And that's it for the basics on how to create a Wufu form, specifically through a blank slate one. Now we're just going to go over how to use a template. So as you can see, Wufu has some pretty generic organizations of their forms. There's nothing really crazy in terms of the aesthetics, but nonetheless, they do have some pretty interesting elements which allows them to basically kind of mess around with what kind of answers you're giving, that, giving and to limiting what respondents can say so that you actually do get the best answers from them. Okay, so now we're just gonna show you guys how to create a form from a template just so you can get an idea of how it would look like if you were to use a pre-made one. Okay, so heading back to the create form button, let's just use a template over here. Then from here, it's just a matter of choosing what you need. So as you can see, all the templates look pretty much the same and they're all really differentiated based on the purpose because that then defines what kind of questions are being asked. The great thing about Wufu is that their templates actually ask pretty valid questions, meaning you most likely you won't need to change a lot in regards to what the form is asking. Though there is a limitation that you don't actually get a lot of leeway to mess around with how it looks. Nonetheless, they do have a lot of specific types that you can look into. So let's just pick one of them. Let's say we want to make an online order form. Let's use this template. So once I've hit the use template button, as you can see, we're now given the template right here with all the elements already in. And if you were to view the form, this is what it would look like from a respondent's perspective. Editing a template is exactly the same as you would edit a black form. You just have to drag whatever elements you want or delete You'd be using this red button over here if you don't like it. And if you want to change anything about the overall form settings, you just have to head to the form settings page as well. Same thing as when it comes to editing a black form. And that's all we really have to say about it. Hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to Wufu, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.